Hello, welcome to Ray Lore Stories. Today we're gonna to be checking out Discover the Lords. So it's gonna be episode four going along with Call of the Arbiter for Elaine and the High Elves. Let's check this out. Welcome to the world of Teleria, an ancient land with its own peoples and races, and millennia of history. In this series, we're gonna dive into the unique world and lore that exists within the Raid universe. This episode continues the story of Kale and Elhane, this time showing events from Elhane's point of view. Elhane, niece of the High Elven Queen Ava, is forced to defend Aravia's borders and has to give up reuniting with Kale in order to serve her people. Last time, we explored the history of the Dark Elves, but now it is the turn of the High Elves, those who remained loyal to the King and, by extension, the Arbiter and Lumaya. How did their society rise, and how did it react to its schism? Let us learn more about the High Elves and their impact on Teleria. The first to emerge from the waters of life during Teleria's primordial age, and the race most aligned with the goddess of light Lumaya, the majority of elves found their home in a verdant valley on the continent of Anhelt. They called this land Aravia, and built a kingdom that would endure the test of time. Priding art, craftsmanship, and knowledge, the elves of Aravia thought little of expanding their borders, instead focusing on making their kingdom a shining beacon of civilization. While they quickly came to the Arbiter's aid in Teleria's many great wars, the Elves chose to stay out of the affairs of other races. It took the War of the Elves to tear their domestic peace apart wow. and for them to look to expand their territory, turning to the eastern continent of Peltas. While Aravia was largely spared the destruction caused by the brutal Galen War, it sided with the forces of the Telerian League and aided in bringing about the Galen Pact's defeat. Meanwhile, despite the fragile peace that had been negotiated with the Dark Elves, the High Elves continued to construct fortifications started during the War of the Elves to keep out their exiled neighbors. The largest of Aravia's defensive structures is Felwyn's Wall, a huge fortification commissioned by Queen Ava. Its mighty gate is garrisoned by Skinwalkers, Ogryn, and oh. Lizard, descendants of those who had fled into Aravia oh, that's interesting. the Red Crusade. These imposing walls seem to work, and while small skirmishes between High and Dark Elf raiding parties still occur, Aravia looks to have returned to its position as an oasis of calm within a chaotic Teleria. However, a growing shadow looms over the Elven Kingdom. All is not well with their queen, and whispers of war threaten once again. With Elhane defending Aravia from attack, this episode's code may be found at the borders. Just as Kale and Elhane abandoned their enmity and came together to serve the Arbiter, maybe there is still hope for a unification of the Elves. For more on the High Elves and their society, Read the bios of Elhane, Lysandra, Royal Huntsman, and Deliana in the Champion Index in-game, or follow the links in the description for more resources. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Raid Call of the Arc. Ooh, what did you guys think of that? That actually makes so much sense. That makes so much sense between the High Elves and the Dark Elves. It really is jiving along with what had happened initially with the previous one that we watched, which was for the Dark Elves, and to learn about what happened with Queen Eva as well. Guys, drop me some comments down below what you think of this lore for Elaine and for the High Elves, and thank you so much for watching.